Can fake news make you remember things that never happened? Stay with us to find out. Have you ever heard that LGBT people come to Brussels to buy babies? Or that US politician Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez proposed a motorcycle ban? None of the stories are true, but both made it to the top of the ranking of the most popular fake news stories in 2019. In many ways, our minds work like machines, and machines can be manipulated. Makers of disinformation campaigns know how to trick their way in. But why disinformation is so catchy? Disinformation is designed for you to believe in it and remember it so you can pass it along. In fact, believing in something is easier than making an effort to reject it, or that's what scientists say. To reject a story, we need to make an extra cognitive effort, which is not the setup by default of our brains. Moreover, this effort is greater if we challenge information that appeals to our ideological background. This is what we call the confirmation bias. Our brain tries very hard to verify something we really want to be true. There are other cognitive barriers that allow for this information to enter our brains and click it is true button. When it mimics something we trust, such as well-respected newspapers or a Twitter profile, we recognize the format, which makes it easier for our brain to trust that information. Sometimes it modifies only a part of the story, so we let down our guard because we feel sure we've heard it somewhere before. Can this information alter memories? An article published in Psychology Science demonstrated that during the referendum to legalize abortion in Ireland in 2018, people were able to remember false stories. They were asked about events that happened during the campaign and surprisingly, they were able to remember things that never happened. Ideas and stories that they read or heard. Disinformation campaigns can plant the seeds for false memories. This raises a question with far-reaching consequences. Can fake news not only distort our present, but also change our past? Events that stick in our memories are those that shocked us, excited us, or provoked us. Think of the objective memorable. To which events would you apply it to? Scientists found that we are more likely to remember negative events than positive ones. And that is the key to fabricating fake news. They tend to create scandals. Our brains are not invincible. We are vulnerable. And disinformation campaigns exploit these weaknesses. In fact, some experts say that our brains could become a new battlefield. We are hackable by nature because our brains have evolved very little over the past 40,000 years. In our next episode, we'll learn about the sociological dimension of this information. Don't forget to subscribe. Hasta luego.